what's going on guys so as you can see I've got my PS4 Pro here and in this video I'm gonna be seeing what happens when you play the PS4 Pro in 2019 so if you're familiar with my channel you know I've done a lot of videos like this with the you know Xbox 360 uh, original Xbox PS2 PS3 um, you know some older consoles kind of going back taking a look at them looking at all the features you know uh, what the console could do and you know seeing how games ran you'll know that I typically haven't done it on the latest generation of consoles you know like the PS4 Xbox one Nintendo switch that sort of thing but today I decided that I think it's a good time to go ahead and, and you know start looking back at these consoles like a PS4 you know it came out almost six or seven years ago now um, back in 2013 and you know when that much time goes by you start forgetting about a lot of the features that you know were originally advertised on the PS4 and you know some of the you may be even overlooking a lot of the features um, I know whenever I play my PS4 now I just pop in a game turn it on and you know that's it I don't really think about all the features and um, accessories with it so basically in this video I'm gonna be looking at the features and accessories of this this PS4 Pro kind of looking at the box my original um, box that came with it and you know just kind of diving into the to the console and playing it a little bit and you know see what we're missing so first of all let's just kind of take a look at this box um, now obviously the original PS4 came out in 2013 this is technically a PS4 Pro although very similar just basically just a regular PS4 but more powerful but the original PS4 came out in 2013 so um, you know it's getting up there in age now so this is the PS4 Pro white Destiny Edition um, it's kinda sad I actually <laughs> have the Destiny game over here that I still have never even opened because I just haven't really had the interest to uh, but let's kinda look at this box and just kinda see what it's like so all the PS4 consoles had um, a similar kinda style they had an outside box that had a lot of graphics and stuff that were cool and if you open it up it always just had this standard white PS4 box in it um, which you know is fine no worries it's whatever so let me take it out and let's see what's in the box to be honest I think I might still have some random accessories and stuff in here I don't really know alright so when you open the box I think when you would originally open this they had some like manual and stuff there um, obviously it's not there anymore so in here is where my console would have been um, some random zip ties that's not a zip tie that was a whatever you call that um, here's the thing that would hold the console in place Oh, never mind. That's like a box of actual stuff. What is in here? Wait, are you serious? You're joking. I have a brand new... I never took this white controller out of here. Are you serious? Wow, this this video just got real. I, guys, I have a brand new white controller that I forgot in my box that I never opened. You know, I was thinking, I never really thought about that because I have this other white PS4 controller and I never really thought about the fact that I had two white PS4 controllers. Wow, well that's crazy. I guess now I have another PS4 controller. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this box would usually come with the HDMI cord and power cord and that kind of stuff and a controller. Um, and here's some more, more goodies in here. Let's see what else we got in here. Got the manual. Looks like I never opened it. Quick start guide, all that kind of stuff. And a bunch more little bags. Oh, and the, these crappy headphones. So I had originally bought a PS4 on release day and it came with these these type of headphones and they were terrible. And I guess I didn't even bother opening these when I got the PS4 Pro. <laughs> all right, and looks like that's about all that's in here. So wow, that was, I'm glad I opened that. I did not realize I had another PS4 controller in there. Well, that's good to know. All right, well, let's go to the actual console now. So, as you guys know, probably know, the original PS4, it was kind of like a two layers. So this, as you can see, one, two, three layers. The original PS4 was just two layers. Um, I guess they stuck three layers on so they can fit more power in it. Um, but, you know, it's got the standby light on the, on the front, kind of cool. Everybody likes LEDs. And on the back, um, kind of hard to see, but we got Ethernet port. Um, some sort of USB jack. Um, can't tell what that is. There's another jack that, back here that's kind of proprietary, I think. Um, it's hard to see, I know. Sorry for the light. Then there's an HDMI jack and a power cord. So, you know, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and turn the console on. So when you turn it on, it starts flashing blue. And let me go ahead and turn my TV on so we can actually see it pop up. 
Um, but yeah, I always I always like these colors. It's kind of a nice a nice blue, kind of nice hint to it. As you can see, it's flashing. And now that it's on, I think this should stay. Yeah, it's now it's white. Cool. So here's the console right here. Um, as you can see, here's the, c the controller. So this is a PS4 controller that came with the uh, Batman PS4 I have. Um, that's why it's gray and doesn't match this white. Um, but yeah, basically you press this button on the in the middle and it'll connect to your console. And you got this nice light bar in the back. Um, you know, the light bar isn't, I guess, not used a ton. Um, people use it in certain games and it's, it's kind of cool. Kind of just a quirky feature that's, you know, not a whole, not super useful, but still pretty cool. Um, controller also has some other cool features, you know, like a touchpad, which is cool for some games. And it's even got a speaker. I always thought the speaker was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a pretty standard controller. So if we look up here now, you can see the dashboard. This is kind of just how it looks, the layout, you know, kind of just the scroll across the screen to see everything. And then scroll up one more and you can see all your settings and everything. Um, so let me just kind of take a look at it. So as I said, uh, basically at the left, far left side, you got your PlayStation Store, what's new. So then you can see what your friends are up to and stuff. And here's your latest game. Um, I'm going to close the application because I didn't know I still had to open. Uh, basically, it'll go in order by which game you played the latest, I think. Um, I haven't played my PS4 a ton lately, so these are some older games on here. Uh, Rush of Blood for VR, some cool stuff. And then if you go over here to your library, you can basically see everything um, from your games to your applications and, you know, everything you've bought. Um, so that's pretty cool. You just kind of scroll through. Now let's go back. All right, so now if you go to the top, we can see all of our settings and stuff. Um, well, some of the settings. Far left is PlayStation Plus. So I think if I click on that, it'll show me some, basically the free stuff this month. Yeah, so whatever that is, that game is f for free this month. Notifications, another cool feature. Um, so basically it shows you your latest downloads and just other random stuff. Somebody sent me a friend request, blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, friends, communities. I don't really know what communities is. I don't think I've ever used it. I'm assuming people just make random groups of stuff. Um, oh, apparently I am in a community. Oh, I created a, a community called NBA 2K17 Dropping Buckets. That was a while ago. I don't think I've opened up community since then. All right, events. I don't really know what that is. See, you guys, this is why I'm going through here. I've got some random stuff on here that I don't, I've never even seen on the PS4 because I just don't take the time to look through it. Like, what is an event? Um, so this is like contests and stuff you can enter? I don't really know. Interesting. So you got events. I didn't even know this existed. You got messages, party, so you can, you know, join your friends on a, on a, uh, you know, a party. <laughs> uh, you got your profile. So you have my profile. You can basically come on here and customize stuff about me. Boss. I don't know when I put that in, but cool, I guess. Um, and yeah, you can just kind of see your standard stuff. Change your background and everything. And trophies. Trophies is a cool thing. Um, you know, this has been here since PS3, but uh, it's still cool. You got trophies on the PS3, PS Vita, um, PS4. I don't remember if you had them on the PSP or not. I don't I don't think so. But, you know, you can basically you can see what game it is over here. Come over here and you can earn trophies for doing random stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. And if you go over to the right, here are the settings. So I'm actually going to kind of look through this. Cause, you know, settings, you can find some weird stuff in settings. Um, so let's kind of look through it. So data handling, I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's just a bunch of privacy policy stuff. Accessibility, account management. So that's just messing with my account. Parental controls, login settings. What does that mean? Face recognition. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So the PS4, you can get a um, basically a camera, and you stick it in front of your TV. And like, apparently you can log in via your face. I did not know that. Well, I vaguely do remember that. I, I think I've done that before. Um, see, this is another one of those things I haven't done in a long time, so I just forgot it existed. Uh, notifications. So those are the notifications you probably saw popping up in the top left-hand corner. When I turned my PS4 on, I was updating a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can disable stuff like that. Uh, change the color. Only black and white. All right. Devices, so you can actually connect random devices to your your PS4 via Bluetooth and other stuff. So you can actually connect a 
like a camera. You can actually connect a mouse and a keyboard if you wanted to. Basically, be like a computer. So storage, pretty straightforward. Um, you can plug in like an external hard drive and actually store data and stuff, which is pretty cool. Themes. Oh man, I haven't looked at themes in a long time. What kind of themes do we have on here? PlayStation 20th anniversary theme. Let's do that. The standard, the standard theme is just a little wavy thing, like it's been on there for years. But now you get that PlayStation 20th anniversary background. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna change that. You can save data management. It's pretty straightforward. Sound and screen. So you can change your video output. So obviously, since this is a PS4 Pro, it actually has 4K output. Um, and yeah, I think it's it's automatic, so it should automatically do all that stuff. Um, so I don't need to mess with that. Screen saver, display area, all pretty standard stuff. Um, sharing and broadcast. So I guess you can. I know you can uh, broadcast live what you're playing. You gotta stuff, set a bunch of stuff up. I've never done that before. You can connect your app, you can connect a remote play, so you can play with your PS4 and your PS Vita, which is pretty cool. Video playback, date, time, a bunch of standard stuff. Alright, cool. So, you know, nothing crazy. Um, let's kind of go back on here and see. Let's just play a game. Oh, come on, really? And installing an update file. So, this is something you don't, you didn't see a lot on, you know, older games or older consoles is, you know, trying to play a game and you gotta update a bunch of stuff. You know, for example, let's say you get home, let's say, Let's say you just went to the store and bought this game right here, Uncharted 4. You get home, you're going to put your disc in, um, well you do put your disc in, and you're trying to play. But no, you gotta you got to install this game, which you know takes a takes like an hour or so maybe. And you got to install an update from online, and depending on how fast your internet is, you might it might be hours before you can play. Um, now that's the downside to these newer consoles like PS4 and um, pretty much anything connected online, but you know, that's just how the today's world is. So you can see this game I just opened up called Steep. Um, just some free game I downloaded. Um, and yeah, we can kind of, this is kind of a look at how, you know, a lot of games on PS4 are. You load it up, you gotta do, you gotta sync a lot of stuff with the internet first. You know, it's gonna be a while till you play. Um, whereas a lot of other consoles we've seen, um, that I've, I've played, you know, you kind of put the game in and you're immediately playing. But you know, a game like this takes a while to load. Then you got to start syncing stuff with the internet, and you know you're sitting here for a while before you can actually play. And you know, it's not a big deal, but it's just something to point out. Um, and you can also see the the very nice nice visuals in this game. 4K game, nice mountainous, um, nice mountains, and you know all that kind of stuff. So here we are again. I'm gonna skip this cinematic. I just want to snowboard a little bit. What is going on? Just let me snowboard. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only played this game like two times. So I really have no idea how to do anything. Let's just press play. And let's see what happens. I'm just going to play for a minute. That's what we're all here for. Playing games. Alright, sure. Oh yeah. Oh crap, I just ran into that person. Let's see if I can jump kind of hard to play while I'm playing with one hand. This game definitely looks nice. I should figure out how to play. Oh, I just crashed. Alright, so let's show some other stuff. Um, if you press this, middle, this button in the middle of the controller, um, basically take you back to the home screen. So, kind of like the PS3 had uh, a, a button like this, I believe. And if you come back here, if you hold it down like I just did, you got some more options. You can see, um, you know, what game you're currently playing, sounds, devices, so you can uh, change the volume of your speaker on your controller, which is right there. I showed you that earlier. Um, you can also change the brightness of the light bar, which is nice, um, and you know, other various stuff. Um, you can turn on some music, you can turn off the console, check your online status. Right now, I appear offline um, for whatever reason. Notifications, you can check your notifications if you want to. And you can customize some other stuff, which I've actually never done. Um, apparently, you can turn on some other stuff that I didn't know about. And yeah, so there's a lot of the features, you know. Um, kind of went with through the, a lot of the features that we got on the home screen. Um, you know, showed you kind of the features of the console itself. Um, the, con the controller even opened up my box and found a brand new controller that I did not know I had. Um, and then we even played even played a game called Steep. Um, and I kind of just want to show you how I, I put a disc in. So... If there's no disc in it, and you press the button, um, you'll hear it kind of beep at you. 
and here's an actual disc. I put it in. It's in this top slot right here. Kind of sucks it in, like like any console nowadays. Um, doesn't take much work, and you can hear it booting up. Um, whenever it's loading a game, it shows this disc up in the right hand corner, and it should pop up. And it'll. I haven't actually. I think I deleted this game at some point, so now it's got to reinstall it. So this is what I was talking about. You come home to play a game, and first of all, you got to let this bar fill up so it install, installs the game, and then you got to install an update. So you know it's gonna be a while till you're playing your brand new game. Um, actually, I was quick. So it actually, I think it will let me play, but if I really want to update, I got to download 14 gigs of data. That's crazy. So I mean. To you guys that got a really slow internet connection, sorry, it's going to be a long time until you play a game. But yeah, and the, and the other big thing with this console is the digital games. You know, that's the, that's the big rage these days with the PS4, Xbox One, pretty much everything nowadays is all, you know, internet based. So, you know, I have a lot of physical games, but, you know, just, you can just as easily go on the PlayStation Store and buy a game digitally and, you know, never have to worry about putting a disc in that console, you know, where I put it right there. Um, you can buy everything online and basically just download it to your console as long as you've got enough space. So it's a pretty cool gaming world we live in now. Um, it's just different changes all the time. And right now it's disappointing because this PlayStation Store is taking so long to load. Alright, so the PlayStation Store finally loaded. Um, and as you can see, there's just tons of stuff. You can even buy movies and shows and, you know, everything now. It's, just, it's a full-on store. Uh, you can download pretty much everything. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down in the comments if if you think the PS4 is still worth it, you know. Are, if you don't have a PS4 yet, are you going to buy one or are you waiting for the PS5? You know, let me know down in the comments um, what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.